Now we have discussed that the calcium channel blockers will cause vasodilatation and as well as they have direct cardiodepressant activity. Now because they have vasodilatory action the CCBs the calcium channel blockers they tend to cause reflex tachycardia. Right? They tend to cause reflex tachycardia. Now what do you mean by this particular reflex tachycardia? Now because this calcium channel blockers they are causing vasodilatation. So once they cause vasodilatation the blood pressure of the individual is reduced. So once the blood pressure of the individual is being reduced our heart will try to compensate that decrease in the blood pressure by increasing the heart rate all right the fall in the blood pressure whichever is being caused by calcium channel blockers is being compensated by heart by increasing its heart rate that is called as reflex tachycardia all right so because these calcium channel blockers will cause vasodilatation these calcium channel blockers they tend to cause this particular reflex tachycardia now how will you neutralize this particular reflex tachycardia this reflex tachycardia it is being neutralized or it is being nullified by direct depressant action on the heart right it is being nullified by using a drug which will right using a drug which will cause the direct depressant action on the heart right using a drug which will cause direct depressant action on the heart now now we have various drugs we have dihydropyridines we have the benzothiazepines we have phenylalkylamines now out of all these particular drugs let me tell you a very important mcq about nicardipine so if you take this nicardipine among all the calcium channel blockers Nicardipine is the longest acting parenteral calcium channel blocker, right? This is a very important MCQ. Nicardipine is the longest acting parenteral calcium channel blocker, and this Nicardipine, this is a drug of choice for hypertensive emergencies. Right, this is a drug of choice for hypertensive emergencies. Now most of the times what is being done is this particular nicardipine it is being combined right it is being combined with beta blockers. Now what is the reason why it is being combined with the beta blockers is as I have said you this particular calcium channel blockers they tend to produce this particular reflex tachycardia. Now because Nicardipine will also cause reflex tachycardia if you combine with beta blockers then tachycardia right then tachycardia will be avoided all right then tachycardia will be avoided so if you take this particular concept of reflex tachycardia reflex tachycardia is more marked in case of drugs with short half-lives and what are those particular group of drugs which are having short half-lives is your nifedipine whereas in those particular group of drugs which are long-acting drugs like amlodipine the effect of reflex tachycardia is very less so remember these points with nifedipine the reflex tachycardia is very high with amlodipine the reflex tachycardia is less now let me tell you a very very important point now i have said you that nifedipine is causing very high amount of reflex tachycardia so if you use nifedipine in those individuals who are having coronary artery disease or who are having ischemic heart disease this nifedipine can increase the risk of angina all right so nifedipine because it has high chance of causing reflex tachycardia this nifedipine it is having a high or increased risk of angina
right increase the risk of angina so why is that because it is increasing the cardiac work due to increase in the heart rate whereas if you take the sustained release preparations of nifedipine right if you take sustained release right sustained release preparations of nifedipine and amlodipine they are safer in this particular regard all right so i'll repeat what i have said this nifedipine it is having high chance of causing reflex tachycardia so nifedipine has high risk of causing angina all right now what we will do is we will give the patient a sustained release preparations of nifedipine or the sustained release preparations of amlodipine so when you give this particular sustained release preparations then the chances of having this particular tachycardia right the chances of having this particular reflex tachycardia is lesser all right now previously if you take earlier nifedipine was used sublingually for hypertensive emergencies right this nifedipine was used sublingually for hypertensive emergencies but nowadays this practice has been banned completely due to increased risk of mi and as well as mortality right due to increased risk of mi and as well as mortality so because of these two reasons this nifedipine which is was used sublingually for hypertensive emergencies is being completely banned now i'll tell you another important point about your nifedipine nifedipine first thing it is causing the vasodilatation due to which nifedipine is having reflex tachycardia in addition to this nifedipine it also possesses the natriuretic effect right in addition to this this nifedipine also causes natriuretic effect 